In our first video of Vegas, we showed you around the Strip. But in order to make your Vegas getaway complete, and to keep your mind sane, you really want to explore all that is around Vegas. Las Vegas lies in the Mojave Desert that stretches from southeastern California to southwestern Nevada with portions into Arizona and even Utah. It has some of the most amazing landscapes in the U.S., opportunities to explore by ATV, helicopters, boating, and more. Most within an hour from Vegas, and many of the tours offer to pick you up at your hotel from Vegas. In this video, we head northeast of Vegas to the Valley of Fire, where we rent an ATV. Then to Camo Safari, where we meet Lodi Norman and Chewy. Then 20 minutes southeast of Vegas to Boulder City. Show a historic bike trail from Lake Mead to the Hoover Dam. Board a plane and head to Grand Canyon West, then a helicopter down inside the canyon, where we hop on a boat on the Colorado River. Show you around Boulder City. Give you some tips for lodging and food. So, let us help you balance out your mind. Maybe keep you from losing too much money at the slots as we explore the other side of Vegas and show you the excursions you can do. We head to the Mojave Desert, this time 60 miles west of the Strip to Red Rock Canyon area. It features a 13-mile scenic drive with trails, plants, wildlife, and camping. It's $15 per vehicle for a one-day pass. Along the drive, several places to pull off and explore. On the first parking area is the Calico Hills Trail, a three-mile one-way trail. There's 26 trails throughout Red Rock Canyon. Ran into Francia here, a nice girl visiting from Germany. Of the 26 trails, 22 can be used for mountain biking all with varying lengths and levels of difficulty. There's the Sandstone Quarry Trailhead, a 6.7 mile loop trail. The White Rock Trail, a 6.2 mile loop trail. Moving further down the scenic drive, there's the Willow Spring Loop Trail, an easy 1.1 mile trail. I'm going a little off trail here. Some good areas for climbing, not far from the parking lot. The rocks are pretty stable. Hold on, Bella. Wanted to share that I finally found a good, durable, super long selfie stick with a tripod. Absolutely love the 60 inch stick by Newest. It's durable, has the flip extenders, which make it quick to raise and lower. An adjustable angled head. The handle has a good feel to it, easily converts to a tripod, can be used for both GoPro and smartphones, has a spot for a GoPro remote. I put a link in the description below. To go deeper into Red Rock Canyon, you can take ATV tours with Las Vegas ATV dune tours or Vegas off-road tours. You usually meet somewhere on the strip and they'll take you to the desert via a 30 to 40 minute bus ride. Forty-five minutes northeast of Vegas is the Valley of Fire, a geologic wonderland. Two thousand-year-old rock formations, a massive redstone. I chose to explore it by ATV with Ultimate Desert Adventures because with them you can do a self-guided tour. The rentals are three ninety-nine to four ninety-nine per vehicle for four hours, depending on the ATV that you want to drive. The guided tours that you can do with Las Vegas ATV or Adrenaline ATV tours are a little cheaper, but I like having the freedom to go where you want to go. Not having to follow a tour guide or breathe the exhaust and dust of other ATVs. It's an adrenaline rush mixed with the beauty of nature. Each vehicle has a Garmin GPS, which shows you the main route through the Valley of Fire. No experience necessary, but it is a pretty serious trail. Looks like this vehicle had some issues. You do want to have some basic driving skills, navigating the rocks, the hills, and canyons. 
They show you a 30 minute video that really prepares you for the ride. There are other ways to explore the Valley of Fire. Even the drive through the Valley of Fire Highway gives you a great view. It is $10 per vehicle or $25 per vehicle per night for camping. There are two campgrounds, a total of 72 sites with shaded tables, grills, water, and restrooms with showers. Also sites with utility hookups for an extra $10. Reservations are on a first-come, first-served basis, a dump station available. Also, the Valley of Fire is pet-friendly. For something a little slower, we go another 20 minutes northeast of the Valley of Fire to the Camel Safari, to Bunkerville, Nevada. You might at first think your GPS is taking you to nowhere, because there is nothing out here. There's a little dirt road that leads to Camel Safari. Here there are over 40 camels as well as other exotic animals. And this guy here, he's a rock star, which is why uh, we just let him walk around because he deserves it. Lodi here has appeared on The Bachelorette, been in music videos and commercials. You can ride a camel for $218 or ride a safari tram for $108 for adults, $54 for children. Very educational. Guy, Jake, and Casey were just great. Very friendly. You get a lot more access to the animals than your typical zoo. Get into touch and feed them. There's also the double humpback Norman. And there's Chewy named after Chewbacca in Star Wars, as the sound you hear from Chewbacca is actually a camel. Lodging in this area too is very cheap. The Virgin River Casino is between Valley of Fire and Camel Safari in the town of Mesquite, Nevada. It was $36 for a room, $10 pet fee, can't beat that, and no resort fee. Highly recommend to spend a couple of days out here, very cheap. Another popular excursion from Vegas is Grand Canyon West. The ultimate tour is by Papillon Helicopters, which offers a combo plane, helicopter, and boat tour. While this tour begins from Vegas, you can choose to start at the Boulder Airport, which is what I did in order to save a little time of Bella being stuck in a hotel room. It makes the seven hour tour six hours instead, as you skip the bus ride from Vegas to Boulder. The plane takes off from Boulder, flying over Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam. It lands at Grand Canyon West, where you then board a helicopter and fly into the canyon land at the bottom, then hop on a boat for a 15 to 20 minute ride on the Colorado River. After a helicopter ride back to the top of the canyon, you get about 90 minutes to explore Eagle Point, where the Skywalk is at, and Guano Point. It is $519, or add $60 to include the Skywalk as well. To see more of this tour, see our Grand Canyon South and West Room video. From Boulder City, let's show you some of the ways to enjoy Lake Mead and Hoover Dam from ground level. You can see it by riverboat with Lake Mead Cruises, a 90-minute Hoover Dam sightseeing cruise, $35 for adults, $17 for children. They also have a dinner cruise Fridays and Saturdays and a champagne brunch cruise on Sundays. In the next marina over from Lake Mead Cruises, you can rent a pontoon boat with boating Lake Mead, $300 for half day or $510 for full day. They also have jet skis, kayak, and paddleboard rentals. Before or after your adventures, you can get a bite to eat at Harbor House Cafe with a patio overlooking the marina. Just above the marina area, there's a parking lot here near the entrance to Lake Mead where you can park while you hike or bike the historic railroad trail.
This is an easy 3.7 mile trail to the Hoover Dam. It was formerly part of a network of railroads built in 1931 to haul materials to construct the dam. It ran from Boulder City down to a concrete mixing plant on the rim of Black Canyon 24 hours a day. There are four tunnels along the way with benches overlooking Lake Mead. The trail ends on the top floor of the parking garage for Hoover Dam. You can also drive to Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam took five years to build, a massive effort, as such a structure had never been built. The concrete today is still occurring, even 87 years after construction. Over 100 workers lost their lives in building it. Located on the Colorado River, which separates Nevada with Arizona, the generators here provide power for utilities in Nevada, Arizona, and California. You can take a guided tour for $30, where you see the tunnels and ride the elevator to the top of the dam. Also in Boulder is the Nevada State Railway Museum, where on weekends you can ride the train. In September and October, they have the train up to air that is $35 to $50. Also, rail explorer rides year-round, where you ride or pedal a rail explorer and return on the train. Boulder has very inexpensive lodging compared with Vegas, several reasonable motels. We stayed at the Sands Motel, was surprised at the size and how nice the room was. Just a five minute drive from the airport was perfect. There's also a pet friendly quality inn within five minutes of Lake Mead. Lots of good eateries here too. I like this restaurant called The Pit Stop as you can call in an order and they have a drive through for you to easily pick up your food. Several great hangouts in historic, less crowded downtown Boulder with outdoor seating in a friendly small town atmosphere. In Boulder is Wilbur Square, a nice little park where you'll find one of the original turbines used to power the dam. Weighs 34 tons. This is a good place if traveling with a dog, as there are not many grassy areas in this part of the country. Boulder just has a nice small town feeling, a good contrast to Vegas. People seem friendly here, good casual eateries. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this two video series of Vegas. So you see, there's a lot more to Nevada than just the Las Vegas Strip. Many great recreational lakes. This is Walker Lake. It's on the way to Lake Tahoe. In fact, a lot closer to Lake Tahoe than Vegas. But I figured I'd show you it. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel promos across the USA. For licensing or stock footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. Check out our USA travel guide. It will have you feeling good. Plus give you great ideas for getaways. Also our Lake Tahoe travel guide that we filmed on this same trip. From the Mojave Desert, I wish blessings to you, wherever you may be. Oh.